Hello beautiful people, welcome to Global Happenings today. Anna Brown's state election have come and gone. A winner has emerged and none other than Professor Soludo has been declared the governor-elect. But right now there seems to be a lot of disagreement going on over the issue of finances. Already a lot of people are beginning to point fingers. But Soludo is trying to start or is already starting on even though he has not been fully inaugurated. But he started on or high. A lot of scrubbles are going on. In a moment I'm going to give you full details what is going on, what Nigerians are saying and what is obtainable. Would like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, there are a number of state governors Chief Willie Obiano and the governor elect Professor Charles Chukoma Soludo may have disagreed on the size of the budget for the inauguration and handle over on March 17, 2022. According to the news, the government budgeted about 500 million naira for the program, which will cover making customized clothes, caps, banners t-shirts and even hiring of rainmakers. But Soludo was said to have advised the governor to cut the budget down as he preferred a low-key ceremony. He reportedly asked Obiano not to commit money in such flamboyant venture. Soludo nearly spilled the beans in his speech during the inauguration of the 80-member transition committee as a last Thursday when he said that there won't be funfair during his inauguration on March 17. He said he has said that the funds for such will be used to address more important development issues in the state. To demonstrate that he attached no importance to flamboyant handover handover ceremony, Soludo also said he would move from the inauguration venue to his office and from there to the slums in Onisha and environs, particularly Oboko community where he plans to clean up. He had said, I'll be heading to Oboko immediately after the inauguration. I will put in eight hours of work immediately after the inauguration. Don't expect fan fanfare because it won't take place. Another area of contention is the venue of the inauguration. While Obiano wants to use the inauguration and handover ceremony to showcase the newly constructed International Conference Center, my source said, Soludo preferred a low-key handover to take place at the Executive Council Chamber of Government House, Oka. It was also learned that as he is being sworn in, Soludo would have had the list of his commissioners who would be screened by some members of the Transition Committee, the caliber of Dr. Obi Ezekwesele, Professor Pat Otome, and a few others before they are taken to the House of Assembly for final screening. It was also learned that the over 3,000 executive assistants, special assistants and senior special assistants scattered all over the world may not find favor with Governor Soludo's administration. It was learned that a family in Nobiano's hometown has up to 31 executive assistants, special assistants and senior special assistants, while another family has 27 members in the same category. This is coming from Daily Independent. All right, but Nigerians also have decided to react. This is um, talk about the economics, talking now. And this is what governance is all about, not flamboyancy. But then let's find out exactly what Nigerians are saying. This one here is saying, let's Soludo keep quiet. Being a governor does not mean you cannot be impeached. Remember in Gigi and Co., this was how Buhari was proven to be saint. This one here is saying, hold your breath. Soludo is not Buhari. Leave Soludo alone if you know nothing about him. This one here is saying, will you not say something? I don't understand what he's trying to write. This one is Obi not the Oringo man. He's supposed to be a Yoruba man. He lost party and drinking. Excuse me? Come on, please. What kind of talk is that? If you want to say something, just say it directly. Don't what's why you weren't attributed to any particular person. Well, don't forget that the person you are even calling names, unfortunately. You, you know, some of us don't really know that some of these executive um, governors are very learned. I, I, I think um, Obiano is chartered, even not even a fellow, chartered accountant. 
So it's not it's not illiterate. It's not a school sat holder. The guy went to four walls very well. He's fully learned. He's exposed. Maybe the nature of the corrupt system of the country have allowed some laxity here and there in some parts of governance. Not necessarily his generally as a whole in this country. But I can assure you some of our, our governors are, are fully very learned. This one here is saying Obiano, the money the money spender, thanks be to God and also congratulations to the people of Anambra for the new gov governor God has just ordained for them. We are hereby praying to God for Nigeria to get new leadership like Anambra said come twenty twenty three. This one here is saying the difference between a banker and an economist is playing out here. This one here is saying there's nothing wrong with the profession, it's just people people that take an economist could also be a banker, okay? This one here is tell Time will tell. I tell you, time will tell. Look, see, <laughs> I've learned that initial gragra is not a yes to, yes to say that all will be well. I'm not saying that uh, Professor Sorido cannot do well. After all, he was one time a CBN governor in his days. And uh, so to speak, times it was not bad. Although uh, the likes of, um, although when Sanusi, the likes of Sanusi took over from him as the CBN governor, he did much more practically, actually. But then you cannot take away the fact that Soludo is also one who had also been among a, a team of committee of economic experts that the president Muhammad Buhari had brought in his FAC um, FEC team, you know, before he later, you know, came down to become the governor of um, Anambra State. It's one thing to, to, to top the talk, it's another thing to do the talk. Don't forget that, um, like one person said, they can be impeached, okay. But if he performs well, why would they want to be impeached? I guess already he's beginning to see because if by the time he gets into the seat and there are no money in the coffers or little money in the coffers to begin to pay salaries, he's beginning to have issues already because coming in and paying arrears or coming in and having debt to compile uh, 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 debt compiled for you is not a good start. So I guess he's trying to see as much as how he can cut as much money as he can. Okay, to start on high, I have learned you not know, to you know, judge a book by its cover. All right. I also have learned over time not to look at somebody's on face value and judge him. He may do far, far better than no governor be no good for an indigent and Nigeria as a whole. He may also not, he may even do below par by uh, Obiano. Also, it's, it's part of, it's human nature. It's, it's all, all part of um, the ethics, man's ethics, his belief system. Okay, if he comes up with the belief system that he's coming to redeem his people and also see how he can improve Anambra, the, the life of Anambrans, the well, beautiful, and Anambra is blessed. But I've learned not to be too quick to judge anyone. Like the, the last guy said, time will tell. I wish them all.